Talking with joy, talking with joy, talking with joy. That's my intro. Hi, right, everybody. How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? Okay, so I'm on here today to be positive as always. And um had a lot of talk about some good stuff before I got on here. And to me, I like to have fun, as you know. Positive energy all the way around. I'm drinking my core. Some good water, y'all. I'm investing some good water. Okay? Good water. Um, Tomorrow's Memorial Day, so let's, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, tomorrow. Today is Sunday, right? So happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sun Fun Day. Happy Sun Fun Day. Fun, happy Fun Day. Okay. Um, all right, so back to what I was saying. Y'all, excuse me. All right, so basically, I thought about other things I want to talk about. I talked about something yesterday. It was in the, the lines of, I forgot. You know, just a typical talk. Um, today I had a discussion with my little sister. We had a good discussion about a lot of stuff. Uh, we talked about Ruby searching. I want to do something called Mood Duck, Mood Bank. It's called Mood Bank, all right? Which people are eating while they're talking, talking to a uh, conversation. I thought I'd do that. I mean, because that's what I do anyway. So to be organic, I'm like, one day soon I will do moving. That's what it's called, right? Because that's what I do anyway. I mean, I'll be on here drinking my water and I'll be on here doing all kinds of stuff. So um, I don't want to be here too much longer. My thing is this. Okay. okay, so. Why I come on earlier? I always come on early. What time is it? 5, 6, 34? It's Eastern. So, yeah. Um, This discussion, I probably want to put a topic and just talk about what I want to talk about. I was thinking about... Uh, it's a lot of topics to talk about, y'all. It's a lot. So, to think about what I was talking about earlier. Hey, Ralph. What was that? Oh, basically. Um, I don't see it. Um, basically, um, we were talking on the lines of celebrityness. People are celebrities, and today in the quarantine, you ain't no more celebrities in the world. Not right now. It's fading out. It's ish. I'm like, we're all to be human, more humane, and be more um, human like. You know, stop being so, uh, you know, in the spotlight kind of thing. And to me, status, people still worry about the status of what they look like to people. I've never been that person to care about what people look at me as. And, you know, I don't care about how people view me because if you know the true realness of me, I'm a real person. And I don't care for the the hype. Okay, some people like to be hyped up in life. I'm the opposite. Okay, and I'm like hype is a bunch of bull crap. If you don't know now, you'll learn. Honestly, hype is a bunch of bull, and the people live for the hype. They don't, you know, just a little like they're doing something, just a little like they're talking about something. But if you are doing something, but you want to be praised, I'm not that kind of person. I do stuff underground. I do stuff because um, I want to. My my passion and my desire is to do it because I want to. Not to get praised, be looked at good, or you know, validate, validated or anything like that. And it's a lot of people problems today. Even celebrities or whoever. They like to be praised or for things they do. Like you're supposed to do in life, in general. Um, you know, my lips are out of. So what I'm saying is like breaking down being um into idolizing people. I'm not that type of person. I don't idolize anyone because I know we're all human. We all have faults, and we all are in this world together, regardless. And I'm like, people look at the these priorities are all out of order. And I think if you don't have your priorities before you so-called get famous or uh, get a higher platform, I'll say that. 
Because honestly, fame is not, I don't think anybody wants to be, the one, what comes with fame. To be honest, fam, being famous sounds nice, but you really know, you really put yourself in their shoes is not what it, it's not what a typical person. No, it's just not what typical people are like. People don't like people, you know what I'm saying, like even going to Walmart every day. You, you know, you gotta be up to par, you know, when you are in sudden spotlight. So, you know, people, I get that part, but then you have paparazzi. You gotta deal with that. You gotta deal with the press. You gotta deal with your name being drugged in the mug for anything, political things or anything. You gotta be wise what you say because it'll be used against you. So, being famous is not all what a crack to be. People kind of look at, you know, I don't think everybody realizes when you're in the spotlight, it kind of, it's sad to have come with that kind of lifestyle, you know. Um, so I think if you practice being a good person and also not needing, be a person who's needy of uh, validation, a person who needs um, the feel, you know, I have confidence through other people or depend, be codependent on people liking you. You are, I'm just saying, you're not equipped to be in that spotlight because honestly, you gotta like yourself, period. You gotta love yourself, period. And self-love is really real. And I don't think people don't realize before they get into the spotlight or a higher platform that you gotta deal with those things by healing yourself from things and past traumas and working yourself by loving yourself and be beautiful inside out before you become a so-called famous or star celebrity or any type of platform or spotlight. Because honestly speaking, have you noticed people, a lot of people, they have a gift and then it's love and admire, but then they get a, people could become too much. And I'm like too much of, people might become obsessed, you might have stalkers, you might have um, the wrong attention. People will eventually attack you by what you wear, what you look like. People are trying to find ways to break you. And I'm just saying, that's why you got to love yourself before you, even if you think you're not going to be famous or not, just love yourself regardless and treat true to yourself. And also be centered, be at one with yourself because if you do not, the, the, the uh, negativity around it is going to attack you. And you're not going to be prepared for it because people are going to screw your words, turn your words around, twist and turn to how they want to be. And that's in life generally. But when you're in a spotlight, people come at you, at you for no reason, negative ways, um, any kind of way. And that's just being uh, observing, like being observing to in general. Um, you can be like in, in your own life, people do that. So imagine you get a higher platform. You can just say something and then people are like, dang, why would you say that? Or, you know what I'm saying? So you, you prejudge, you know? So you got to have tough skin when you are in life, period. Well, you cannot want to be validated by anybody. You got to know who you are. Be mindful of what you do. And also be real and true to yourself because people don't, you know. I think what well, I was trying to get to a celebrity living like lifestyles, I don't think people get there. Um, you know, even if you, you want to not want to be a role model or if you do, People are following you, and you don't know who's watching. So, again, um, be used to be wise what you say, what you do, and what you put out, energy-wise, period. Because Oh, my lips look so dry. Huh, shut up. I wish I had some chapstick. Well, you yeah, guys, it's being honest. Like, people ridicule for simple things. And if you're like me, I wanted to be a, I was, wanted to be a journalist when I, grew, when I was younger. Time on talk show. A guy sure to put things to turn it around for my good. So I was going to study and be a broadcast journalist a while back. Um, and then things just changed over time. And God has put me where I need to be in life. So I never fight God what he's doing in my life. I don't get it now. God will reveal me when I'm ready. So I don't rush it. I don't try to understand it. I just do what I have to do, what I have to do at the time. And that's life. So, yeah. I did not. That was zero. So I got saying, um, 
yeah, you got to be very wise, you know, how you maneuver through this life. Because you just really don't, you know, you got to fight. No, go by your instincts. You do not go by your instincts. And I mean, really, not any kind of, not be uh, paranoid because you just got to be wise and spiritually led the right way by following your instinct and being true to yourself and being wise, you know. And you don't got to be all panicked and paranoid and scared to be who you are because people will come at you for whatever reason, regardless. As long as you know you're following God and doing what God said to you, you all right. Regardless who's trying to come at you, start things at you or whatever. Just don't go pay attention to that. There's no point. Um, only, oh, dang, it's only 10 minutes. I, I'll... I might be off of like 15. Uh just be on for 15 minutes today. Because really I'm um, tomorrow's Memorial Day and I really want to prepare myself of um you know eating some good vitamins. So all right, y'all go ahead and share to this real quick. I um, want y'all to like subscribe when y'all come here. So, okay, so I'm gonna say, so what we made my little sister notice that we we observe and we pay attention to everything. So being a celebrity and get rid of proof of anything, good, bad, or negative. But today's society, I'm thinking that all that celebrity stuff is going to like die out, all that stuff, the lifestyle. And the thing is, a lot of celebrities try to keep it going and trying to sell things. Like, why are you trying to sell stuff to the people? You already got money. And I think that's selfish. Like, do something free for the community. Do something free to help make us go get through these times in a positive aspect. And I'm like, that's why I'm like, I don't follow anybody. I don't follow celebrities. I don't follow, I will like respect their hustle, but I'm not following their ways of what they do. That's why I say I'm organic and I'm original because honestly, no one could be who I am. No one could be who you are. God created us all these, our own selves. And have our own paths in our own journeys. And you gotta be respectful of everybody's journey and paths. So don't go around thinking you know everything. I know I used to, but now I'm like, I'm just open to what God has for me in all aspects. I'm not limiting to what God's doing. So speaking on all that, um, I think people gotta learn how to trust their own mind and be guided by their heart. And not worrying about being popular or worry about a popular opinion and stuff like that. Because honestly, that will get you into trouble. That's falling for the hype. And I talk about another video that I did on here on my YouTube channel. And the thing is, people fall for the hype all the time. And anything. That's anything you do. So you got to really be in a more spiritual sense and be wise and be spiritually led and not go for the okie doke. Um, and again, I can you can agree to disagree. A lot of Hollywood is devised towards um. Go watch the car real quick, please. Go with you. I said go watch the car. I'm on my live. Real. Um. Um. People, you know, in Hollywood, they like demonize a lot of people, especially black people. And if y'all don't catch on now. Please catch on because it's like if they can't exploit you, they want to find ways to demonize you. That's that's in general. But we have a platform, you know, it's too much. You know, I mean honest, like demon being demonized is something else when people find a flaw that you have and they can try to find it and flip it on you. Y'all gotta watch people's motives and watch people what they say. Um, it's not about being paranoid, it's like follow your spirit. And not just doing anything just because. You got to really know what's going on. Be aware. Be aware of what's going on. Be aware of very well what's going on around you. And don't go by what people say. You got to go what they do, what their actions. Don't just, don't just, you know, entertain. The, don't entertain those kind of thoughts and, and entertain people that are not trustworthy. You got to really pay attention to what's going on around you. Because you don't know who is really, you know who in your heart, but really you got to really pay attention because some people could be doing things to 
God do the real way. That's why I got to follow your own heart. You got to follow your own mind and listen to what God's telling you because it's not just for coinciding. God talks to us all the time. We choose to listen to what he says. If we don't, that's on us. You can't get mad. And that's all of us. God gives us choices. He gives us free will. And that's choices every day to do what's right and just do what he say do. It is not what you think, what I'm saying. It's really being led the right way and listening to God I was telling you to do. Okay, so that's what I mean. Listen, you gotta shut your mind off to all the negative energy in the, the media sometimes. You gotta shut your mind off to things that that are just you can tell that it's just a propaganda. You can tell that it's just um media hype. You can't fall for the hype because the hype will get you in so much damage and trouble and get you somewhere you don't want to go. So I'm like, literally, you got to follow your heart. Let's see what your heart is telling you and your, and your spirit. Because if you don't, you will fall into the wrong place every time. And, and that's not cool. So and sometimes wisdom does come with age. Sometimes wisdom comes with um, maturity. And, you know, and when it's time for you to know something, you'll know it. So don't try to make yourself know something beforehand. I feel like a lot of kids are growing up too early. Uh, anyway, I think kids need to be children. Teenagers be teenagers, adults, young adults, and adults, adults. Like, stop trying to put everything into one. Um, but that's just that's how I feel. And I'm I'm just, I'm gonna get off in a minute. But um I will probably try not. I will try to come here tomorrow. I will try my best to come here tomorrow because tomorrow is Memorial Day. And I know everybody going to be out eating cookout food and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't know. But the thing is, just be wise in what you choose, even what you eat. Everything we do, all energy, really, you got to be very wise what you put into yourself um, through Music, do food, song, uh, words, uh, media, TV, anything. So, and, and people energy. So, be very wise how you how you reciprocate, how you um, digest energy, and make sure that you are clearing yourself out, clearing clearing yourself from toxic negative energy. Um, and and that's like. In, in everything that we do, all energy, because we, we're you know we're all energy. So just be wise and be mindful what you do. And also, we gotta positively manifest what we want in our lives. So let's keep positively manifesting. Positively manifest what you want to happen. Keep going high, you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Um, you want you want to walk out and then we'll come back and then just walk. Captain, stand here. You want to walk, walk or just walk? This is walk, Captain. Hey, man. Up here. Up here. Hey, listen. Walk here. Up. Sit. Sit. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be chasing you. Oh my god, I thought in my life.